guys welcome back to my channel hope you all having a great day today today my vlog is very easy a small short tutorial to help uh, let you know how to service your own bike ever since i changed my bike to a scooter so slightly apart i've been changed upgraded so i let you know what is needed to do your own service on your bike well, as you can see guys i'm currently using x max so all uh, right okay for information this is not a paid promo so what is needed standard uh, this is the gear oil from this current company so it's two bottle that is extra a bit oil filter so motor oil for the engine oil so it's 1.6 liter after you everything open up I've been using a wrench so a 8 mm for opening the filter here I'm not sure whether you can see or not hold on right all right 8 mm for three volt the filter is here and a 17 mm socket because i already changed my socket to 17 mm for magnet version so this is the nut that i need to drain so I'll share with you all so today is an easy job maybe just few minutes and maybe i've been doing like half an hour lah. take some time so show you the short one guys some extra equipment is needed okay this is a standard seven liters I just cut away the original the engine oil thing so another is for the gear oil so the drain plug will be around this drain plug 70 mm because I upgraded just now I said 8 mm for filters another one is around this particular area you hold on right I think it's this nut it's the gear oil so all right so later I drain everything out and change to the new one and then run the bike okay guys okay guys draining then the plug as i said 70 mm i'm gonna just clean it like this and then spray some uh, the brake cleaner or you can buy anywhere what type of brand also it's okay so this is the one that's it as you can see there's a magnet in the between there i don't know whether you can see or not okay it's 17 mm as told you so uh, wait for the oil to drain then after that clean with some cleaner and change some um, gear oil then normally let the thing run a while everything's go fine then i will reset the the meter all right guys i'll put in the sh uh, in the description how to do all right guys eight millimeter open up the thing and the filter will be there. Right. If you are boring, you can fast forward the thing. So this is a step by step tutorial. So there's three bolt here. You need to open and slowly the filter will cut. Come out from here. Oh. So normally I will just clean it with this cleaner I haven't been changed my filter since I came back from uh, Betong. Uh, if you want to see my Betong trip, I think either of the top there will put the description. I like to share with you all. You may go and have a look on my Betong trip. It's a 4 day 3 night version. I think we'll make 2 to 3 parts if I'm mistaken. I can't, can't remember. Okay. So this is the thing. Remember? 
remember to clean it up and wash it or just clean it by anything around you just wipe it with a clean cloth Set it back, it will be okay. So I'll be using original. I'm not sure if it's why online or they say original. As you can see, it's almost the same. There, there will be always a marking here. Then they say the it's original. I just bought it like cheaper than you go to SC's to make it. This is, will be the outside part, right guys? The hole here will be put it inside. Just like that. Easy. So uh, normally I'll just put it in nicely, the O-ring. Just to, uh, to make the thing leak. Put it in nicely. Look everything. This is my way of doing it. I just put one nut here so it won't drop. Easy. Oh, sorry for the for the ringing. <laughs> right. So I normally I put the top one back first. So it's more easier. Uh, this is a one shot video because it's quite hard for me to record in the same time and doing it. So if that uh, bad on anything, please um, my apology. Oh, you all don't mind just an easy sharing of my tutorial or my auto servicing uh, what I like is normally I don't put full look uh, full pressure everything back first I just do it a bit by a bit so when the nut ball is nice and locked then I'll put the pressure back I'm not sure about everything going for like pro you need top range you know Me. as long as it's tight then okay so clean it with some hot hot cleaner okay so this all normally i will put it to uh, if you are malaysian or do it yourself normally i put it to the any of the you know car or tire shop that's selling and tires and servicing cars or just pass it to them So today is an easy tutorial, so you all, uh, all can learn. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, help me to share. Uh, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please help me to give a subscribe button below there. Give me some support so I can make more video. So, hope you all enjoy. Hi guys. Okay, coming up next. Okay, everything looks okay, already stopped. Right. So... Just everything locked back, doing the reverse side back. Then I will show you how to reset the meter in the short while, guys. Okay. Right, guys. All right, guys. So everything have been locked back on the bottom there. Just now the drain side. So now put it in CVT oil first. It's two hundred mil. So here is the eighty mil. And what about all of this? Uh, hundred twenty mil. So pour it in, lock it back, change every check. Then after that, put the engine on and on the other side there. And then reset the meter on the top okay guys so share with you in the short while so this is my normal skill i put just cut the thing 
with some angle so I just put it there and then pour this one in there so easier <laughs> a little tips for my side if you feel it's okay then you may follow if you feel don't okay then you can use another way all right guys all right guys been top up new engine oil right uh, it's 1.6 but I never go in major really I just put it in let, let the engine run for a while then cap back all right if not enough then we pour a bit more top up some more you can see the oil is the setting is blinking so I think it's 20 click or 25 click I can't remember it is so just pull the thing let's hold it then the thing will automatically reset back nice meter has been reset to zero then that's right okay everything double double check yeah running then getting a bit golden brown already but it's okay overall it's new because there's some old engine oil inside it double check is there any leaking no all right everything is fine so thank you for viewing my video hope you all enjoyed this episode uh, there will be more coming on so thank you have a nice day guys